Okay, in this one I want to talk to you about a cool Google extension I found for dark mode. Salesforce itself came out with a dark mode a, a few years ago and they released it and then it got some bugs and they stopped working on it and then I didn't hear any more updates. It might be working at this point, but I haven't heard anything. And so what I did is I started looking around for some dark mode Google extensions and I came across this one here, dark mode for Salesforce. You can definitely use this one. Um, the only reason I'm gonna show you two today is because this one you do have to pay for at this point. I believe at one point it was free. Looks like they have 30,000 plus users on it now, so they're monetizing, um, which is all fair game, but if you don't wanna pay for it, there is a, another one that just turns any website you go to into dark mode, and it's super dark mode. I'm sure there's plenty of others, but this is the one that I've been using. And so the reason I want to show this is one, aesthetics. I think it's really cool to kind of have it in dark mode, but two, if you stare at the screen all day, it's nice to have it in dark mode so you're not killing your eyes all the time. So I can kind of show you how this works. You'll jump over here to Salesforce. Mine already, like my dev org is already kind of blacked out, but it's just this little guy up here. I'd literally just click it and now everything here is going to be in dark mode, which is nice. So it does change the feel of it a little bit. So you do kind of, got to figure out if you like that feel. I did notice on some of these things it does take away uh, some things that make uh, the elements in like flow super noticeable. So I would just play around with it, see if this is something you're happy with, see if it's something that you're going to be okay with. But you can kind of see here, right, and I already had this one pulled up, but you can see here uh, when we take it out of dark mode, you see the pink, the blue, and that's a little more recognizable. When you turn it into dark mode, you can just kind of see those icons. And so it does make it a, you know, a little more difficult, I would say, if you're used to the other one. If you do have this in auto layout, though, it makes it a little bit easier because it goes right in a row. Um, but it is nice for you to be able to do that. And like I said, it's for all websites. So you can turn it on and off for anywhere that you're browsing on the web, which is also really nice. It's not just for Salesforce. Um, I also like that you can just pin it up here and it's a nice toggle back and forth. So, you know, if you don't love it when you're working on flows, you can always just turn it off, right? And if you get back over here and you do like it, you can always turn it right back on. So really cool one uh, that I wanted to just uh, discuss with you that I found.